Welcome back. Today I wanted to print a low poly vase by Sir Carl on printables. After my origami planter video, I had some questions about printing in spiral vase mode. I did not print the origami planter in vase mode, but I decided I wanted to try it out, especially on the XL. I decided to print this one at 0.32 layer height, and with the 0.6 nozzle, it came in at around two and a half hours. My goal was to be able to make a easy vase that I could put flowers in. I used Overture's clear PETG. Let's see how it turned out. The print itself looks really cool. When I grab it, I'm surprised at how flexible it is. Um, it's a very thin print, even though it is a 0.32 layer height. It looks pretty. There is a little bit of overhang on the top. Printing in the spiral vase mode, there is no seam, which is very pretty, especially on this low poly vase. But as soon as I put water in it, it was just pouring directly out again. So I decided that I would change the layer height. I knocked it down to 0.2, and this ended up being a 3 hour and 34 minute print. This one again looks really pretty. It does seem like it's a little bit less clear in color than the higher layer height one. Um, but overall, I mean, it, it printed really well. This one ends up leaking a little bit less, but it's still not going to work. So I pulled it into Tinkercad and messed around with it a little bit so that it would be a little thicker. It's not going to be printed in spiral vase mode. It would be closer to the origami planter where it's going to be a little bit thicker. Um, and I did set the seam as aligned. I was hoping that that would still look really nice with this design. I printed this at 0.2 layer height and it took about six hours. And keep in mind too, this is not a very large vase. It's about five and a half inches wide and about seven inches tall. So it's not something that the XL, that I have to print on the XL. I just really wanted to see how the XL would do with the spiral vase mode. And I also wanted to try out the clear PETG. I wanted to see how clear it would be and I wanted to see if the print would work. This print turned out okay. Um, you can see along the bottom that it's not super clear. It's just the way that the print turned out. And there's some really kind of ugly seams. Along the top, it kind of has a lip on it and there's a lot of stringing. The size itself works for the flowers. And I like that this print is a little bit thicker. It's something that if you hand it to somebody, they're not going to it's not going to collapse on them like the previous ones were. But like all the others, it continues to leak. So obviously that's not going to work. So I retraced my steps and on the origami planner, I had printed it on in PLA. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and switch back to PLA. I made the base a lot thicker. It's about half an inch on the bottom so that surely there's no way that it can leak on the bottom. But I was also getting impatient, so I switched back to 0.4 layer height. And with that thick base on the bottom, this print took about four hours. At first glance, I do like the way that it looks. It's a little bit smoother. But I do not like that line along the bottom where the base ends. You can see a very clear line. And you can see a really obvious line along the top. There are still some not very pretty seams in more than one spot and then the top has a lot of stringing so the most important part is does it hold water at first glance it did seem to hold water really well especially on the bottom i added the flowers everything looked great and then the next day i noticed it leaking along the seam and there actually was a little bit of water below the face when i picked it up let me know your thoughts on what you would try next have you been able to get spiral base mode to work and hold water have you tried this exact printables file before or did you prefer something else? Thanks for watching.